be somebody's full-time house. Very nice. And uh, she's, it's her and a couple dogs. Uh-huh. It looks like, well, what are our sizes? About eight by 16? Actually, this is uh, only 10 feet long. Oh, is it only 10? Wow, yeah, really? 10 feet it looks long. so much bigger. Yeah, no. the, actual, so cool. the floor is actually five by 10. Okay. And it goes out, you know, with the angle and stuff. But, Super um, cool. but yeah, she's, she's got uh, two dogs she's mm -hmm. going to travel with. Mm -hmm. And um, so she wanted her bed down a little bit lower so she didn't have to climb way up. Uh -huh. But she also needed a desk to work on. Oh, that's so uh, this little built-in desk, and uh, it just stays up like that. Wow! And she's got a little work area. That is really. And she's got crazy. tons of storage underneath here and uh, uh -huh. cabinetry there. She got her shower. This is a cool deal that works out really well in these. Is um, I do this little bucket toilet. They have those little bio bags at Walmart you can put in there. Uh huh. Kills the smell and stuff. But also for the shower. I use a regular toilet seat instead of the one that comes with it. Mm -hmm. And you just pull this out of the way and you have your whole shower there. Wow, that is... So it works out good. And that's a 32-inch really shower. Yeah, so nice and wide. I could fit in there easily. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. So. Yeah, it's worked out good. I've done a few of them like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that is super fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, sink and... Okay. Yeah, she's got a little 12-volt uh, cooler going in here, um, and we've got a battery bank and a solar panel because she's going to be traveling a lot, so that'll keep her lights and her uh -huh. her cooler cooling. That is really neat. When so. she travels, um, she'll need to plug in for air conditioning, but that's it. Right, right. That is, yeah, that's something. That's incredible. So. Yeah, and this whole thing, you can pull it, she's going to pull it with her Toyota RAV4. Really? It's only uh, 1,700 pounds. Really? Yeah. That 1,700 pounds. That's lighter than an RV. Oh, yeah. Like a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah, we actually have, we've actually pulled one of these with a uh, Toyota Solera Honda CRV. So a real, real small SUV. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah, the only thing is they do have a bit of wind drag being flat on the front, but right. um, for hers, we actually just got the trailer frame here, it just pulled up. Uh -huh. We did a drop axle, so it'll be four inches lower, and that'll save a lot on the wind drag. This is, um, That's it's not... a plywood, it's called pop light. Okay. And uh, it's really rigid. It's a nice blonde color. Uh huh. But uh, feel how light that is. Oh geez. Yeah. It's, it's like, like oh, almost like balsa wood. Yeah, exactly. So it's incredible. very much like. You see? Okay. That is so light. Yeah. But it holds its shape really well. Okay. Yeah, you'll feel it flex a little bit, but that's mm -hmm. fine. It's, okay. There's no no trail frame underneath it yet. Okay. But you're not gonna break it. For sure. And so let's see this one. Sorry, what are the dimensions again? It's What's five that? feet wide, five wide huh? six and a half feet tall, and 14 feet long. 14, okay. But because it's so narrow and so light and has that rounded front on it, it's right. not going to really feel like you're pulling anything at all. Oh, for it's sure. just very lightweight, aerodynamic. Uh -huh. And it's, you know, it's the way we put it together. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can get it in the camera, but mm -hmm. like even where we tongue and groove these together, oh, it's so yeah. tight you almost can't even see it, but the tongue and groove is right there. <laughs> I almost have almost. to draw it out for you. Well, I can I can barely see the little bit of a line, but yeah, you it really goes cannot. right there. Uh huh. Uh, there. 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 And, there. and this guy could have easily just gone and bought you know something off the lot at an RV dealer for you know a fraction of the cost. Right. And uh, but, and I even recommend it's like, listen, man, you're just basically getting a big old box. Just go buy whatever. It'll have everything. And just like, ah, uh -huh. I just can't. I can't put any money into something like that. It's just gonna fall apart. Yeah. And, and he's had the first hand experience of already owning one of our. Yeah. So. Oh, that's nice. That's <clears throat> so he knows. So, so repeat buyers, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, so, but we do offer shells. Mm -hmm. Like on the tiny houses, we'll build out like the shell. So you'll have your trailer framed, the house is framed up and dried in. Uh -huh. So the outside will be, you know, have the roof on it and all that stuff. And then the inside will have the rough electrical, rough plumbing and the insulation. Nice. And we do, we do a lot of those to people that want to, you know, kind of a DIY or that's pretty neat, serious. So. Well, if you think about a tiny house, it can't be built like a regular house. Right. You know, you build a regular house on a foundation, it's just got to stand, you know, winds and rains and mm -hmm. maybe an earthquake or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're on wheels, mm -hmm. you're potentially going down the highway at 70 miles an hour. If you've right. got a headwind yes. and a rainstorm, yes. guess what? You're in a hurricane, right. you know, and then you're shaking. <laughs> so you're in a hurricane and an earthquake at the same time. Uh -huh. Then you go around a curve and you got some G-forces that you don't have to think about exactly. in a regular house. So, yep. 
yeah, yeah. it's definitely a, a different uh, ball game it's got to be taken seriously even guys have been building houses for 30 years mm -hmm. you know i'll fly around the country and help them you know teach them how to build a tiny house on wheels mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um, or they'll bring crews here at the shop or whatever so, for sure. so. And, and that's and that's why i mean when you're getting into anything you really want to research it and it's mm -hmm. all out there i mean we're doing the tiny house summit as you know mm -hmm. um that's i think there's 30 of us now on there they're yeah. speaking so yeah, a wealth a of information i mean how can you how can you go wrong exactly. i mean and we're all in this to help other people do it mm -hmm. so it's it's a great resource and i would say use them mm -hmm. uh, well <laughs> we've been camping with the same group for about seven or eight years now uh -huh. about once a month okay. and uh they are not off-grid campers gotcha. okay. <laughs> a couple of them so, but okay. most of them they want to have full hookups you know uh -huh. and they got motor homes and rvs and stuff and gotcha. uh you know we okay. They're all setting up all their stuff. We basically unhook and go play. <laughs> gotcha. <I understand. laughs> it is what it is. So. For sure. For um, sure. But, well, you know, my wife and I were happy to camp off grid. And, I mean, uh -huh. we hiked the uh, first time we ever backpacked. We did 700 miles of the Appalachian Trail. Wow. Got caught in a few blizzards and right. stuff. So, um, <laughs> we're, we're no strangers to it. You know, I've uh -huh. toured a lot of uh, third world countries and been up, you know, some rainforests and back areas. That is neat. So. <laughs> But you know, if you don't, if, if, that stuff's fun for an adventure. But when you're going to be living full time in something, you want to make sure you find that happy medium. And everybody's right. different. Right. Like uh, when we were backpacking, there were minimalists. There were like have these seven, eight pound packs, uh -huh. and they just sleep under a tarp or nothing at all. Right. And, um, right. No sleeping pad. And then there were some that had like everything with a coffee maker, literally, yeah. and all that stuff. Little TV antenna and. And then, you know, I found my happy place was right in between there. I wanted mm -hmm. to sleep well, mm -hmm. you know, so I'd have a decent tent, you know, lightweight, but a decent tent and I'd mm -hmm. have a little sleeping pad and a good sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll gladly carry the extra 10 pounds away to right. have that comfort. Right. Because basically if you're not getting a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. you're not going to enjoy the rest of the stuff. Just right. like with these little campers here, you know, we talk about it being a bed in a box, but when you got a family going to, yeah. even if you go into Disney, you know, mm -hmm. campground there, mm -hmm. um, Fort Wilderness, um, if you're not sleeping well and comfortable with air conditioning and right. stuff, you're not enjoying. You're yourself. not going to enjoy the rest of the day because you're going to yeah. be exhausted. You're going to be a little fatigued and stuff. So. Exactly. Hey Ty. Hey Pop. Paige is coming to make sure yeah. you're all right. Paige is going to love on him, huh? Hi. <laughs> <laughs>